Welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video we're going to continue on with our tooltip and hopefully look into um, unique items. <clears throat> so, uh, coming straight into our item list plugin, the first thing we're going, we've got to do is to display or enter all of the relevant attributes <coughs> into a variable to put into the title tag here <coughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to run some if statements so if row uh, health adjust is not equal to zero because don't forget it can be either side of the zero mark so it can be <coughs> it can either add attributes or it can um, remove attributes and those are the things we're um, allowing for with this if statement we just don't want it to show if it's equal to zero <coughs> so above this I'm going to declare a new variable and make equal nothing um, and then under the if statement I'm just going to have tip concatenate to itself um, <clears throat> health and then we're going to have row health adjust with a break tag and I'm not putting in the self-terminating um, <coughs> break tag because for some reason it likes to mess things up. <coughs> so that's the break tag we're going to be using. And now I'm going to go through and uh, do it for all of the others as well. Um, there's seven altogether. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to pause the video and then we'll come back and uh, enter it into our uh, title tag here. Okay, so <coughs> there's all of the if statements. We've got one for the health, um, accuracy, dexterity, might, resistance, focus and insight. And on the end of this uh, items array here, we've got another key of tip, which um, equals the variable of tip. So if we come down to our paragraph which contains our um, title tag, we're going to remove the um, hello that we had in there before. And then we're going to break out of this and inside of here we're just going to put V um, with the key of tip and that will insert the tooltip that we need into this paragraph tag. So if we save that and just uh, come over to our game and refresh and come over to our items when we mouse over you can see that we have <coughs> excuse me I've got a real frog in my throat tonight we have the appropriate attributes sitting there inside of our tooltip so our gun gives us a focus of 3 and an insight of 1 and our armor ring gives us a resistance of 3 and an insight of 1 so <clears throat> that's basically all we need to really do for that okay so now moving on to unique items now a unique item will be an item that has been upgraded or that we've found uh, which has got additional attributes um, added to it other than like the, so they're not normal so so we have an armor with um, extra resistance we're going to show the resistance um, of the standard item plus the um, added resistance 
Now the way we're going to do this is if we come into our database and go to user items, we're going to go to our structure and we're just going to add on eight columns. That's the wrong one. <laughs> sorry, yeah, sorry, eight columns in that one there, not the primary. Duh. Okay. So our first column we're going to have is unique key and what I'm going to do is we're just going to place in a random unique key of some kind um, <coughs> which basically says that this item is unique and should not be duplicated uh, should not have more than one quantity um, when it comes down to it Um, <clears throat> so again we're just going to have the health adjustment we're going to have the accuracy adjustment and I'm going to finish uh, populating this and then we'll come back okay so our unique key is going to be um, the varchar we're going to have 50, le uh, 50 characters um, all the adjustments are integers um, with a default value of zero. So I'm going to insert one of these <coughs> and I'm going to make it an armor. So character ID of one, item ID of one, quantity of one, a unique key there, like so. And this armor is going to give us extra four resistance um, two might and say ten health I'm going to go uh, uh, it's going to cause a problem okay user items we're going to come to structure We're going to create another index on the unique key. Oh, flame now. Right, bear with me. Okay, so I dropped all of the um, current unique keys and re-added the character and item IDs and also added in there the unique key so now if we go to or go to insert we should be able to go one one work a unique key in there and then add in the values we had before go right there we go So there you can see we've got a unique unique key. And we should now be able to use this in order to um, sort this out properly, I think. This is the first time I've really um, done it this way, so it's all a bit experimental so right okay I'm going to play around with this script and then see if I can get it working okay and then we'll come back and I will go through it <coughs> Okay, so have a look at this now. <clears throat> I've gone through and added on the um, health adjustment or all the adjustments from the user items. And due to the fact that they've got the same names as the um, item recipes, we've had to give them give uh, 
give them an alias of uh, I've given them aliases of unique um, followed by the stat that they're adjusting so we're selecting all of them from the um, database as well and before where we had just a single row if um, with the tip concatenation on it I've expanded all of them uh, all in the same way so I'm only really going no, only need to go over one of them so what I've got here is I've got that if um, the health adjustment <coughs> is not equal to zero or the uh, unique health adjustment is not equal to zero um, then we want to add this particular stat into the tip so we start off with uh, saying health uh, followed by the um, the adjustment it gives us as per norm as per normal and I've removed the um, break tag from this from this line here um, then we've got if the unique health doesn't equal zero then we want to add something else onto this tip and in brackets or in parentheses here I put the unique value um, followed by the break tag uh, else we just want to add the break tag so if it does equal zero then we're just breaking it off like normal and I've done this for all of them as you can see and the result is this so this is our normal armoring and this is our armoring with the added stats so we've got our health um, this, its basic stat is zero so that still shows but its adjustment stat is ten The same with might, its base stat is 0, but the adjustment stat is 2. Now the resistance is 3, and the adjustment is 4. What you could do on the end of there is have a total, so you could have an equals, um, what would that be, 7. And now the insight doesn't have any adjustment whatsoever, so that just remains its normal visual self it's just insight is one and then we've got a normal gun there now one thing that I would like to do is if um, it is a unique item we want to try to make it stand out a bit so we're going to do one of two things we're either going to have it be a different colour so we can have it in uh, like a light blue or something or we're going to have a look at this script here which is pulsating and glowing text uh, apparently it only works with CSS3 and I think yeah because it's got text shadow uh, yeah because yeah, it's got text shadow then um, it needs to be CSS3 uh, if not then what we'll do is we'll make it um, just stand as a um, normal colour a bog standard colour to represent and as you can see here it hurries up and loads up and you can see on this one here this is what this is the effect that we're going to sort of go for but just not as extreme we're just going to try and make it sort of glow a nice blue color or something so I'm going to get this script ready and see if we can get it to work okay so you can if you look closely enough you can see it glowing in act, uh, see see the glow in action it's not quite as uh, 
great as I had hoped for. <clears throat> but for now it will do. Um, yeah, so that website is prodevtips.com and that's the URL. You can give it a read through. Yeah, so oh, I want this bat still over here. Yeah, that's the basic um unique items and how to tell them apart. In a later episode we'll go into actually upgrading an item, um, taking it away from the standard items and adding it into its own separate, um, as its own separate entity. I'm going to end this video here um, and I'll see you in the next one. See you later.